your view nation are you looking for a nice emergency weather radio that can also keep you cool when the power goes out then i think you're going to want to stay tuned to check out this video on this weather radio i got that has a fan on it all right yo skippy roll that intro okay youtube this is your boy mark for loose cruising views back to give another video but you know how we do before we get started Let's get all that business and politics out of the way. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll be notified of new videos. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Go ahead and subscribe, subscribe. All right, now that we got all that business and politics out of the way, let's get to the video. Okay, View Nation, it's your man, man, Mark. Back again with another video. And today we're going to be looking, taking a look at another emergency weather radio. All right, from a company called uh, Javaus or something like that. Or I'm probably murdering the name, but anyway, uh, before we get to that, can you do me a favor? Go down and hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel. All right, all right. Appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. All right, today we're going to be looking at, at a emergency weather radio from a company called Gvos. Uh, and I guess I'm saying the uh, name right. But uh, let's go over a couple of specs before we get this bad boy out of the box. Um, it has a 4,000 mile rechargeable battery, so you can recharge your devices as well. Also has a weather radio on it. Type C charging, a hand crank, so you got a different way to charge it. You know, if the power goes out, it has an SOS function on it. With I, I'm thinking it has an alarm on it. Also has AM FM radio, also a bright flashlight, reading lamp, and a powerful fan and a mini compass. So, this bad boy is packed with features. You got some of everything in this bad boy. You got the SOS, the hand crank, you got several different ways to charge it. You can either charge it, if I'm not mistaken. I want to say it has a solo capabilities, but we'll, you know, we'll see in a minute, but then that could be wrong. So let's go ahead and uh, get this bad boy out of the box. Let me show, let you see the box. You see that's on the front. You can pause this, read it for yourself. And uh, you can see this on top. You can pause this and read it for yourself right here. So tell you SOS, hand, uh, hand crank, uh, crank generation or whatever, LCD screen. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, get this bad boy out of the box and see what we're working with. All right, let's see what we got in the box. Let's open up this box. All right, let's see. Oh, man, it's got it packed in here real good. Let's put it to the side right here. All right. So what else we got in here? We got some, uh, like we got some instructions in here, instruction booklet, uh, thank you card in here. Let's see. Are we getting that thank you card in here? I'm trying to figure out which camera I'm looking at. <laughs> All right, let's put them to the side. Let's see, anything else in this box? Doesn't look like it is in the box. Mm, nope, nothing else in the box. So let's go ahead and put this box out of the way. Fold it up real quick and look at the uh, weather radio itself. I'll get this out of the way. Okay, okay. This is different. This is different. I had, did a review on some other ones. I think uh, this one right here, the uh, flashlight type. All right. Let's check this one out. So as you see here, you know, you got your uh, antenna on here, all that good stuff. And it's obviously a fan, but we'll get to the fan a little bit later. And right here, you have your, all your buttons right here. And let's see right here, you got your hand crank. And uh, let's see here. You gotta excuse that boy, we're getting all kind of notifications. But anyway, you got your, uh, you got your uh, buttons on here, all right? With your nice little LED screen on here. All right, let's see here. Let's see what buttons. We got here. Let's go over some of this stuff real quick. All right, this is this is what it's gonna gonna look like if you have it uh, set up. Let me see. Which is okay. This is the bottom because you got your little rubber stoppers right here. Well, they're hard plastic stoppers. So this is how it's gonna look on your desk. You got your uh, antenna. It's a long, pretty long antenna. You can see that pretty long antenna. Let's see. Okay, and you got a. Uh, Let's see here. We got um, 
the screen, you got the LED screen. All right, you got your, there's, there's the hand crank, like we said a minute ago. Got your hand crank right here. Let's turn it over to a different angle. All right, so you got your hand crank right here, so you can go ahead and crank it up to charge it. And you notice when I when I when I started doing this, let me get a different angle so you can see it better. When I started to when I started cranking it, you'll see a red light come on. As you can see, the red light come on right here by my thumb. When you when you get to cranking it, all right. So that's another way you can charge it up. And let's see, is this solar? No, we don't have any solar on this one. Uh, let's see, but it has a, a plenty more features on here. All right, let's check out the uh, let's check out the uh, button layout right here. Let's see here. We have. I don't know if you can see it because of this uh, green, real bright green. That's one thing I would have said they would they should have had like some some black. Uh, you know outlines on here so you can really see it because this lime green is so bright sometimes it's hard to see it but you got your sos button you got your alarm then you have your band so that you switch from fm to am and all that good stuff you get your power button you got your up and down uh if i'm not mistaken this is the, the for your tuner to, ch to change different stations and then it is your uh, upper volume and lower volume so there's your button layout right here and here is your charging port so you can like I said, you could use this as a, a power bank because it has a 4,000 mAh rechargeable battery in here. So, you know, you get in a pinch of the emergency, you need to top off your phone, go ahead and uh, plug in your phone into the, uh, the charging slot, and you're good to go. And this is where you charge the USB-C. I didn't see a USB-C cable, but maybe, you know, uh, I dropped it out of the box by mistake. I don't know. But uh, let's cover this back up so you can keep that waterproof rating. Doesn't say what the waterproof rating is. Let's see what else we got in here. Like I said, the LED screen. Uh, and you got your, your lantern right here, another lantern. And to the, the start of the show is the fan. Let's go ahead and pull this fan out. This is pretty cool. This is one of the reasons what made me uh, draw me to it was the fan, because I hadn't seen uh, um, a, a Mercy Radio with a fan before like this. So this is pretty cool. It has a separate button for the, for the fan. Let's go back. And this is a button for the fan, so let's go ahead and let's turn it on first and see how it sounds. Let's go ahead and turn this bad boy off. So I'm going to hit this power button right here. All right. Oh, oh, I want to get no copyright strike. So let me go ahead and change the bands on here. Turn it back on. All right, now we're on, we're on AM radio, as you can see this right here. You're on AM radio, and let's see, we're going to change the band again. It goes to the weather radio, and then change the band again. It goes it goes back to uh, FM. I, I'm not going to play that music right there because I don't want to get a copyright strike. But uh, So you want to change, you want to change the station right here. You just press these buttons right here to uh, change the stations and the volume. Up and down. That's max volume. Let's go back to the. Let's go to the FM real quick. It's it's pretty loud. It's pretty loud. Let me turn it down. Let me turn this off. Let me let's see. Let's try out the SOS button. I guess you got to press and hold. Okay. Are you seeing that? That's crazy. This is the SOS button. Wow, wow. Let's go ahead and turn, uh, let's see, the light. Now, this is crazy. This, this is what I was looking at right here. Let me go back over here. This is what I was looking at. They have a, a different kind of way to turn the light on and off. So if you want to turn the light on and off, you got to twist it. So twist it to the left to turn it on. And that's to turn on this light, the, the, the lantern part. So the more you turn it, the brighter it gets. Let me see. If I turn it down lower, and then it gets dimmer and dimmer. But the, the more I turn it to the right, to the left, 
the brighter it gets. That's pretty pretty cool, pretty cool. That's different, that's different. Now how long that's gonna hold up, I have no idea. And then the control for the main flashlight is right here. It's just one mode on there. That's it, just one mode. There's no dim, no medium, low, high, it's just one on here. Wait a minute. Okay, yeah. There's no different modes on the flashlight. So, but that's all right, because you mean you got a fan on here, you got emergency radio, you got FM AM radio on there. So that's cool. And, and plus it's a power bank. And then it's, you know, you can recharge it yourself. Only thing this bad boy missing is a solar panel, which I think in here is where you can take out the rechargeable battery. When that battery goes bad, you can replace it. And um let's check out let's check out the fan. Let me go ahead and open up this thing for the fan. Turn the fan on. Okay, okay. So do I got a, any paper around here? Press it again. Okay, that's the second level. Third level. So the fan has three different levels on it. You have uh, low, medium, and high. Let's go ahead and let me go ahead and, and check this out and see how strong this fan is. Let me see if I got some paper around here. Yeah, I think I got some paper. I think I got some paper around here. Let's see here. Got some old scratch paper right here. As you can see how it's blowing. Put it down here to the side where you can see it. There's more of these where you can see this bad boy. There you go. And let's just change your uh, speed. Uh, let's turn that was the high speed. Low speed. High speed. And the highest speed. Matter of fact, let me get my wind meter so we can uh, measure the, uh, how how strong the fan is, the speed, the, fa the wind speed is. Hold tight. All right, we got my little uh, wind meter or pronometer or whatever you want to call it out so we can measure the uh, wind speed. So let's go ahead and turn it on and see, you know, how strong it is, right? All right, so let me turn this around. Hit power, as you can see it's on. Let me, hopefully you guys are seeing this. All right, and let me go ahead and turn it on. So, this is low, medium, and high. Now I can't see this, so let me let me check it out. Okay, it's, it's throwing out some air right here, boy. Go back to off. Let's go back to off. Now it could have been a better placement for the buttons. Okay. Yeah, this thing throwing out some uh, throwing out some air. But I do notice. Uh, let me switch this over where you can see it. Go to the other camera. Uh, I noticed when we turn the fan on. Let me turn the fan off real quick. So I'm gonna make sure you guys see this. It's a battery indicator right here, right? I don't know if you can really see it. Yeah, you see the battery indicator right here? Now when I turn that fan on, especially on high, the battery just, it's like the battery just theoretically drops. It just automatically loses, a, a, you know, a one, one, one cell. So just be aware that the, the uh, fan is gonna use a lot of power, so you wanna make sure you keep it topped off. And then, like I said, you know, occasionally go ahead and go ahead and spin it. Go ahead and spin it. So, I mean, you know, this is this is this is a pretty cool device. I mean, for an emergency, when the power goes out, especially if it's you know, one in the warm season, you know, you're gonna want something to kind of keep you cool right there. I mean, it's not gonna keep everybody cool, this would be your own personal fan, but you know. It's something, you know, plus, like I said, you can uh, 
you top off your devices right here, you know, because you got a 4,000 mile battery. So I'm thinking 4,000 miles, you, may, you might be able to charge like a Note 20 Ultra, maybe maybe one and a half time, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe one or two times, I'm not sure. But, um, boy, these people need loud cars. But uh, yeah, this is this is pretty pretty nice. You know, like, and I like the digital screen. The only thing that I would have liked to see is uh, I don't. It, it has some for hooks right here, but uh, I don't see any. I don't see any hooks. Didn't know didn't know straps come with it. But uh, here's a little there's a little part for the speaker. But I would have liked to seen some some carrying straps with it. Also, um, I would have liked to see a power cord because I didn't get a power cord with this one for some reason, you know, but it is what it is. Uh, what I also would have liked to have seen a different placement for the uh, fan switch, you know, I would have had it like to have it, you know, a different kind of way, like a toggle switch or something, something different, but it is what it is. I'm just basically right now I'm just being nitpicky, but uh, do we go over this light? Yeah. Let's turn this light back on. Got that one. Let's see here. Oh, nope. Now I forgot which way to turn that, that, that light on. Let's see here. Now that's for that. All right. Okay, yeah. See, this that's one thing you got to do with, with uh, these radios like this. You want to make sure you uh, keep the directions because I'm like, I just went over it and forgot how to turn it on and off, but I didn't see this right here. So I think that it would have been, been better to place that the switch for this light, you know, maybe somewhere right here or somewhere else would, would have been a little bit better. Or even put it right here with, with the rest of the uh, with the rest of your uh, buttons right here instead of doing like this. But I mean, this is okay, but it is what it is. But it's pretty bright, you know. There's no really no different modes on here to change. It just you know just gradually goes bright and not. so. And it's a pretty bright light. It's a pretty bright light, you know. So. I think this is a pretty pretty decent pickup. Let me turn this light off because I'm putting it in my eyes. It's blind to me. But uh, yeah, this is a pretty decent. You got a, like I said, you got a 4,000 mile rechargeable battery in here, and you got the you got the fan, and then you you know you got Type C charging. And then you got the weather radio. You got the SOS. You know, and it's, you could use it as reading lamp. This one right here. So you just stand it up like this and, and use it. And you can use it as a uh, in a in a pinch when the power is out or something like that, or if you're out camping or whatever. You know, you can, you know, listen to, you know, a little radio or try to listen to the weather report to see if you're going to have any rain while you're out there in, in the field or out there in the, um, in, uh, uh, camping and everything and hunting. So, yeah, this is pretty decent. Let me see what the size of this is. I didn't even look at the, how, how tall it is. This is about, uh, we're looking at about, um, about eight and a half, but what a fan is, about eight and a half, almost, almost nine. All right, and across we're looking at about, hmm, let's see here. We're looking at about three for the for the spec junkies out there. Three. But, uh, so it's it's not really it's not really that big. Matter of fact, where is my phone? This is a Note 20 Ultra, and this is uh, so you can see you know kind of get some kind of a gist of how big it is. You know, so it's it's a small small little emergency radio. You know, it ain't gonna take a mu uh, much room. But this is something that I think, you know, uh, everybody should have, you know, an emergency uh, travel kit or just an emergency kit at home. So just in case the power goes out, the storm's coming, all that good stuff, you got something, you know, you got something, to, you know, when you're in the pinch to charge the batteries. Also, you got something to go ahead, you know, kind of somewhat keep you cool just in your little personal space. And then you got a radio, you know, to, you know, try to stay entertained, you know, as best you can. I mean, it ain't the, you know, the best sounding, but it, it's something. It's, something is better than nothing. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Something is better than nothing. But other than that, I think this is a pretty decent pickup. This is a pretty decent pickup. So if you're in the market for an emergency radio, uh, radio, even if you're not in the market for emergency radio, I think you need to, need to have one of these in your emergency kit because you never know what's going to happen. But uh, I'm going to leave a link down in the description box below when you get more detailed information. Like I said, I'm not an expert but I'm just a regular everyday person. But I'm gonna leave a link down in the description box when you get more detailed information. And also, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell so you know if I have new videos. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell that friend, tell a friend to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. It really helps this channel. Appreciate it, appreciate it. But uh, yeah, this is a pretty this is pretty decent. And oh, I forgot to say, they got two different colors. They got this lime green color, 
uh, which is a little bit cheaper than they have the orange and black. So they got the lime, lime green, the, the green and black, and then they got the uh, neon green and black, and then they got the uh, the orange and black. And the orange and black is more expensive. Why? I have no idea. But this one was a little bit cheaper, and then sometimes they run, uh, they put coupons or or sales on it. So I'm not going to you know tell you say what the price is. Just click on the link down in the description box below to get more detailed information because the prices go up and down. Up and down. I know it's under fifty dollars, and I want to say it's under forty-five. But you know, don't don't quote me on that. Just click on the link and check it out. All right. I appreciate everybody checking out time, checking the video. And like I always say, treat people how you want to be treated. Treat people better than you want to be treated. All right. All right. Let's see here. Hmm. The message for the day. Hmm. Let's see what the message for the day is. Now everything <clears throat> that is addressed. Can be changed but nothing can be changed until it's addressed so basically what i'm saying is if you got you know, an elephant in the room if you got some issues that you know that you got going on one you can't you can't change you know you can't make somebody change if they don't want to also you know the the situation is not going to be get better like they always say the uh met the elephant in the room if it's not addressed it'll never be changed so you know, in order to get, you know, to change something to, um, to get, you know, things that are progressing, you gotta, you gotta address the elephant in the room. So, cause it can nothing be changed until it's addressed. All right. I hope, I hope, I hope you understand what I was saying, but you know, that's the message for today. This is your main man, Mark Falou, Schools and Views. Drop the mic and I'm out. Peace. Ooh, it's a little hot in here. Let's turn this fan on. Ooh, it's hot.